Hmm. Turn-based gameplay. Timing-based action commands on both offense and defense. Robust customization options despite a limited number of attacks. You get better as you play. Behold, a Paper Mario-like. Oh, that's a face fold! People from Twitter are complaining that the environment here is full of too many mentally healthy people, and not only is that not true, that is a self-own if I've ever seen one. Dude, imagine being upset that the social media site is full of people that you can't easily dupe. Thank God I can click the home button and not have my frontal lobe violated by IRL violence and rage bait. Genuinely quite epic! Five-year-old walks up behind me when I'm on the computer. What game are you playing? Paying the bills. Are you winning? No. Hey, sweetie, I'm at work. Dinner's on the stove. You only have to light it. The gas is already turned on. Love you. My boyfriend is so cute. Wait. I think the cat is trying to cheer her up. Uh. Community note. Monkey. The best community note ever, possibly. Boys, hear me out. Conveniently attractive female characters. Girls, hear me out. Alright, this is such BS. I have seen dudes on the internet want to fuck airplanes, Yoshi, medical equipment, rectangles. It doesn't fucking matter to them. You think the living water from Moana is weird? Try water! Just water! A cup or a puddle! Doesn't matter! Oh, no worries either way. When I'm actually worrying both ways. Plus a secret third way. I fear that I am the homie who is chill but harboring a deep, indescribable sadness. <laughs> Literally me. Must be. Slutty. Gay little monkey at the Apple Store. Wait. I have an idea. Oh no. Please don't become stupid, slutty, sexy super monkey ball. Good opportunity to put this out now. DVD menus back then. DVD menus now. Well, oh, fuck this menu! <laughs> Bartender, we don't allow giraffes in here, sir. I, I'm not a giraffe. I know. I'm just telling you. One of my favorite pieces of insane movie trivia is that the jaw-stopping helmet and saw was 100% real. And actually functioned. <laughs> you know, that pic looks like you just saw that off-screen helmet soon. The Patrick Star Show has been renewed for seasons 4 and 5 at Nickelodeon. You know, it's so crazy how my perception of this show went from why would I want to watch Spongebob again, but Patrick's the main guy. It barely does stuff to feel different, to... Let's go! Patrick ran over 40 pedestrians and killed in Sentinel 3 with a gun! Dad, there's been reports of an insane clown trespassing in the neighborhood lately. Are they talking about you? <laughs> glarp is up and glarp. Dude, is that fucking Greenface? The only ADHD advice that anyone needs is... Don't sit down. Never sit down. Sitting down is what gets you. You gonna have a little sit before you do the thing? Uh-uh, oh, oh, no, you won't. You have created a big sit, and you are lost in it. The natural enemy of the adhd here is the sit down. Don't do it. Get that bakery out of that canyon right now, Greg. For your consideration, the world's wealthiest man has made the largest purchase of his life at $44 billion. The product? A machine that shows him the thoughts of millions of people who all have one thing in common. They hate him. Tonight, on The Twilight Zone. I look forward to the Zoomer version of this, a.k.a. a Black Mirror episode. Ha -cha 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 -cha. Hey, Elon, train your AI off of this! You know, this Minecraft dude once emailed me threatening legal action for making fun of him online. It was really funny. All I had to do was be like, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's talk about the ramifications of you doing that. And then he backed off immediately. I guess Toe Sucker Steve wasn't ready for the wrath of Salty DK Dan. Imagine being the CEO of Spirit Halloween. You only work a single month a year and you make $10 billion. Your only job is to sell skeleton. Life is good. And then, some fucker from Home Depot says, Hey, let's make one taller than God. I just, I just, you just wanted to sell the skeletons, man.
Aw, oh, man, this fried rice is really lacking something. If only I had another tasty ingredient to save this dish. The humble shrimp. You win this round, cheese. Um, actually, that, that is a rectangle, cheese. Ah, 2024 is a wild year. Drake, not beating the allegations. Dr. Disrespect, not beating the allegations. Mog, Lord of Blood? Weirdly enough? I like your funny reply, friend. You'll be buried in my pyramid when I die. <laughs> what kind of voice is that? Is that? No, Mom, I did not pull your magazine. You hadn't opened it yet off the coffee table and started tearing it to pieces. Daisy's a handful, but I think she's adorable. I think we now know who got into the toilet paper. This is the same bunny who hopped on a desk and stole scissors. Whole Foods is out here tearing families apart. Oh. Oh. Guys, this is the shit that'll start World War III. My most millennial trait is big purchases must happen in big laptop screen. Yeah, I accidentally spent $300 trying to get four comedy tickets on my phone to a cheap show of Fringe. They would not refund me. Also, the comedian came out expecting a full crowd, and there were 49 empty seats because I accidentally bought all the tickets. I just feel like a puppy would solve all of my problems. Update, my puppy has actually created more problems in my life. Yeah. Did they ever explain why Raccoon was just a white guy in the Ginyu Force? Like, where did he come from? Glad you asked, Twitter user Kim B. Hart. I got an answer for you. Raccoon, he's not actually a human. I know. It's crazy to think about because he looks like it. Raccoon's race is actually sort of an eyebrowless, sort of humanoid like species that usually come in like purple, teal, blue. Raccoon unfortunately got the uh, albino ginger boy treatment. And funny enough, his race is called R R R Raccoon's race, because, <laughs> come on, man, we probably didn't expect to get this far with Dragon Ball. Got too drunk in a Vietnamese restaurant last night. They said I could never go back. They... they... <sighs> They banned me. They banned me, guys. You get it? My therapist. The ultimate bisexual chair isn't real. It can't flirt with you. The ultimate bisexual chair. Wait. Vienna isn't in Italy? Oh, oh no. Different cities. You were right. When you look up cities, do you usually do it through the Doctor Who wiki? Blue sky is so clean compared to Twitter. It's like going from eating trash to eating three-star meals. It's not the best, but god damn is it better. I heard someone call it a retirement home and I can't stop thinking about that. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just sitting in like this little like community, like cafeteria for senior citizens and just like, oh, did you hear that little cream boat that uh, you get all the bread series 99? It's like, Oh, no way! Gotta check that shit out! This chick at work gave me a pill for my headache, and I haven't blinked in six hours. Girl, you are going to jail! Y'all you know, just came out of the hospital. It was crack. Oh, no. I don't know who needs to hear this, but automatically believing the exact opposite of what authorities say isn't thinking for yourself. Yeah, if you want to be a nonconformist, you have to dress and talk like the same way we do. Nothing quite beats the look on your wife's face when you come home from a late night of D&D &D with the boys and she asks how your night was then. Like it's the most ordinary thing in the world, you can honestly tell her, Yeah, Jack's character caught space aids. So, it's a really bad role. Imagine it's Sunday morning. You've been allowed to sleep in as long as you want. You have no chores or responsibilities all day. There's fresh fallen snow on the ground. Your mom makes cinnamon rolls and serves you breakfast. But you're almost three, so you are blind with rage. Good taste can only be developed as a result of early access to the internet and childhood neglect. Have you noticed more people shoplifting in your area? Well, yeah, I saw the British Museum take a few things. <clears throat> I was tempted to get a suit and tie and just say I'm dressed as the scariest monster ever. 
a member of the IRS. Does not eat all day? Feels miserable. Has lunch at 3 p.m. Ah! Me staring out the window. Looks like rain. Submarine captain. What? But like, more. Radar pumpkin! <laughs> One of the richest companies in the world can't take the time to get a real pumpkin and cut four squares into it. Like Wallace and Gromit, Vengeance Most Foul debuts at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. They used up all the Gromit clay for this one, so you have to go see it. There's no more Gromit clay left! Christmas carols? You mean trick-or-treating in December? Yes, but the, the, the exception is the only treat you get is figgy pudding. Pull pork out pork in it? Nah, you good. They all right. They pulled the pork out. All right, Pat, that's what I was thinking. Simple question. What is your favorite food? Arosan. No. <laughs> Texas teen Alondra Carmona is giving up her entire college savings to help pay for her mom's rent and prevent her being evicted. This is not a feel-good story. It's a dystopian nightmare. No, it's okay, public citizen. They used a picture of her smiling. It's supposed to make you feel like it's a good thing. Don't you understand a new vital of what? He threw up under my bed, so as punishment, I'm giving him body dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Tell me your most radical position that cannot be placed on the left to right political spectrum. <clears throat> Serving shrimp with the tail still on when it's already mixed into something, pasta, rice, etc. He's insane. See, this is the shit that could probably get us to like compromise on things, because I'm sure everyone could agree that's just crazy. I look forward to that one YouTube comment that's like, um, well, actually, tech enthusiasts, my entire house is smart. Tech workers. The only piece of technology in my house is a printer and I keep a gun next to it so I can shoot it if it makes a noise I don't recognize. We've assembled 100 people with ADHD and 5 people with no soft skills to manage them and given them a simple goal, make an impossible amount of money. We call it the games industry and we think it's gonna work great. Man, doing that voice, it's really a... Uh... Making me want to make a quote-unquote healthier option to fucking preserve the lunchbox kit and sell it to three-year-olds. If you see this, straighten your back, you banana-shaped fuck. McDonald's can now legally fix its own ice cream machines. Previously, only the manufacturer, Taylor, was allowed to fix them. Friendly reminder, the U.S. Congress provided copyright exemption for this, but not the preservation of video games that are stuck on decades-old hardware or haven't seen re-releases. I understand. It's a very good point. But also, you, you gotta realize, this is like the death of like one of 340's white women jokes. The ice cream machine is fixed. What 1900 people thought life would be like in the year 2000. Balloon supported lake walking. We've gone the wrong way! One thing Caroline taught me is to not trust overly nice people, LMFL. I know people who are pretending to be too nice, just like the other mother. <laughs> yeah, Caroline taught me not to trust a random lady with buttons for her eyes who wants me to call them mommy. I could be wrong, but I always thought the movie was about kidnapping and the kidnappers trying to treat you like they're your own child. Like, am I wrong? Me has never touched cocaine. Me every time I'm at the airport. Oh no. What if I accidentally packed a lot of cocaine? My homophobic Evie after I tell him he's going to be a Sylveon. I moved my six inch, maybe six foot, six foot heavy weapons guy cardboard cutout, went out for groceries and almost got scared to death on my way home. Why oh, no. The boy says that when we whack this last guy, we'll finally have this entire part of town under our control. I love the job. Hashtag Goonin. This account is now sponsored by The Woods. Trademark. The Woods. Trademark. Go ahead and go in. Go ahead and go in. Don't even... Don't even worry about it. Dogs don't give a damn about daylight savings times. Get your ass up. It's time for the reminder. You're feeding me an hour later because of daylight saving time? 
How the fuck can I read a clock, John? I thought when it was two older men, it was called Yuri. Nope, Yuri is two women. I won't believe I'm getting ratioed by someone with a Ranamon profile picture. Del Fox, but close enough. I haven't played Digimon in my defense. Del Fox is a Pokemon. I only use ghosts and psychic types. I have some great news for you. I'm getting so owned in this thread, it's beyond belief. It help, does anyone know the name of that one show where a character like this appears? Lenny the Poe, dude. The sheer god fucking damn disrespect you give to our living legend, Wow Wow Wubsy! Mysterious old lady flips tarot card, revealing a dude who looks exactly like me flying a hot air balloon into power lines. Me. Is that good? You know how people put their mental illnesses in their bio? Well, I'm gonna start doing it too. Irritable bowel syndrome. Feed me a buffalo wing and watch what happens. Venom, the last dance, overperforms internationally and earned $175 million on its global box office opening weekend. The film had a $120 million budget. Movies are waking up to the infinite money glitch that is the untapped Fujoshi market. Oh, y'all yeah, are gonna hate me for this one. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Do it, Daddy.